this uh, Northampton License Commission to order now. We uh, for, being 4 p.m. August 2nd, 2017. Um, roll call. <coughs> uh, all present are uh, Commissioners Brian Campanelli, Eileen Rail, Natasha Yakolov, and um, just so you know, we're audio video recording. Is there any public comment at this time? Seeing none, we're going to start with item number three, application for short-term liquor license, uh, Hampshire Franklin Hamden Agricultural Society DBA Free County Fair, Saturday, September 2nd, time six to 10. <clears throat> the events of Three County Fair concert on the fairgrounds, arena, wine and malt. Is there anybody here representing that? Yeah. First shot for us, General Andrew. Andy Fair. How are you? Welcome. Good. Can you tell us a little bit about what you got going on? Uh, we're going to have, uh, as you know, we have two licenses and you know existing licenses, but since we're um, in the arena, which we don't, don't normally go into, we thought we should ask if we should get another one, so we, we applied. Uh, what we're doing is we're having a concert that night uh, of the fair. Uh, it's a 250th fair, so it's a special event for us. and. Uh, we're having the temptations that we're going to have a wine and beer uh, bar in the uh, in the arena with the concert is, and uh, we hope to have uh, 1,500 or 2,000 people uh, seated in there. So, excellent. So, I mean, being there's a liquor license already on the premises, does it matter if they go in another bar? I mean, what are your? This is this is my boss. We used to have we have two licenses. One is for the clubhouse, and then one was for the what they call the infield, which was like everything else. Um, but then I uh, I wasn't sure. Uh, I guess the interpretation changes over the years, so we weren't sure what we should be doing. But you know, if we don't if we can get away with one license that covered the entire fairgrounds, that would be good. Uh, so that way we can move things around inside the fairgrounds for each event, and not have to you know, come down and get special licenses. Yeah, I think it's per premise and time. Okay, so two licenses, well, each, each license, license a different part of the fair. So we're using it because it's not licensed. Okay. Yeah, so, so unfortunately, I guess that's not able to happen, or at least under the research we've done, right? So, yeah. so you're taking the right step. Does anybody have any questions? No, I think this uh, applicant's always done a fine job for monitoring the group usage. And uh, all the paperwork's in order. Mm -hmm. uh, would somebody like to make a motion? I will make a motion. I move to approve the application for the short term liquor license for the Three County Fair for Saturday, September 2nd, 2017, from 6 to 10 p.m. in the Arena Building to celebrate their 250th anniversary. I'll second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Oh, wait, he's got one more. I'm, I'm the next oh, one, too. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess, uh, application four on the list. We're yeah, if, I, 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 if I can raise this, is it possible to make this a minor amendment? We're not going to serve all alcohol. We're just going to serve wine and beer at this event. Um, this is our two, This is a film for our 250th, and it's a, uh, it's a free event. You're all invited, as a matter of fact. It's a film about the fair and local agriculture, and we're going to have a, a cocktail hour before the event. Which is not going to have cocktails, it's going to be beer and wine. Sure. And uh, so, um, since we're a 501c3, can we get our fee waived too? But I thought I'd ask. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, I guess you're not part of the city, so you're saying no. Oh. If it's wine and beer, it would be would it be less than 100? It would be 61. 61. So we can't reduce that. Yeah. Okay. That's what that is. That will be our. We're going to be serving as our bartender. We're going to take up there. So you're going to take your own bartenders. Or are they all tips? They're all tips trained. Yeah. Uh -huh. I sent uh, a list up that had uh, almost everybody home. We're missing one or two. People can't find their safe certificate before the fair. They'll all have them. So okay. Call questions. Uh, I'll move to approve the application for short-term liquor license for the three county fairs. Uh, 250th anniversary celebration movie. 
at the Academy of Music. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. All right, thanks. Thank you much. Take care. Okay. Number five, application for short-term liquor license. Academy of Music, DBA Academy of Music Theater. Friday, August 4th, 7 to 10. Um, on the premises, 274 Main Street, the concert, Wine and Malt. Anybody here to represent that? We'll pass to the end, come back to that. Number six, uh, application for short-term liquor license, Northampton Senior Services, September 28th, 2017, 5.39 p.m., 10th anniversary gala and fundraiser at the Northampton, Northampton Senior Center, 67 Collins Street. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you today? Good, can you state your name, please? My name's Heather Cahill, I'm the Assistant Director and Volunteer Coordinator. And I'm Victoria Hunt, I'm the Media and Program Coordinator. Okay, great. Cool. Can you tell us a little bit about your uh, event? Yes, so this fall we're celebrating 10 years at our Con Street location. So we wanted to have a big celebration, invite our community partners to help celebrate with us. So we'll be having a catered dinner, a live jazz band, a silent auction, and we'd like to be able to have wine and beer at the event for people to drink with the dinner. Sounds great. And uh, who's your, uh, you said you're having a catered? Yep. And who's that? Seth Myers. Oh, okay, great. All right, and so they all have their servers. Uh, everybody's um, tip certified and safe yep, certified. Sent all that that information. Okay, great. Yep. Anybody have any other questions? No. Would you like to make a motion? To I would. I would like to make a motion to approve the application for short term. Uh, liquor license for the Northampton Senior Center to celebrate their 10th anniversary gala on September 28th from 5.30 to 9 p.m. And we also approve the request for the fee waiver. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very Take much. Thanks. Number seven is being uh, pushed to the September meetings. Number eight, application for common particular license, Freckle Fox Cafe. One North Main Street, Florence. Catherine John Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you doing? Good. Welcome to the location. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. We're excited. Yeah. Good. Sounds yeah. Good. When do you plan to open? So we're hoping to open. We're looking at the twenty-first mm -hmm. with permits and everything, and we're in the middle of renovating, painting changing it up a little bit. Um, hoping to open before school starts, that's what we're shooting for the 21st. It might be tight around there, but you know, just depends on when the Board of Health comes in and sure. like the day. I, I, I did look at it online. <laughs> So it's in the same spot as Cup and Pot. We basically haven't changed anything inside other than maybe we took the uh, black couches out and moved tables around. Mm -hmm. um, that's, a, that's pretty much the biggest change. And then like I said, the painting and uh, putting in new countertops. We're not changing any plumbing or anything like that. Not doing anything other than- The kitchen cleaning. has remained unchanged. Other than we're just cleaning and painting. Right. Yeah. Nothing, no, nothing major. Even the only other um, piece of equipment that we're bringing is a walk iron. Oh. So we haven't changed up that much. Okay. Do you guys have any other questions? No, just welcome, so. welcome aboard. Yeah, thank Everybody's you. Everybody's yeah. waiting yeah. for someone to come <laughs> in here. Yeah, thanks. Um, I'll make a motion to uh, approve your application for a common victualler license for the Freckled Fox Cafe. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Number nine. Huh. Application for a uh, common two-year license for <laughs> ticket license. Shelvin Falls. We just call it Common Vic. Common Vic, yeah. DBA Shelvin Falls, 
Shelburne Falls Coffee Roasters, location 273 Main Street, Northampton. Curtis Rich. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. I'm Curtis Rich. Love your coffee. Yeah, thank you. Great stuff. All right. Glad you're keeping things for too. Yeah, well, no, no plans to change that. Yeah. That place goes great. And yeah. So we just I'm always, you know, people say, oh, you have a place in Northampton? And we go, well, not what you probably think of typically as Northampton. Right. So we're, you know, it's always a, a bit of a cross fingers uh, proposal to do this, but, um, you know, we're hoping that it's a different kind of market mm -hmm. and different people. And Is it a different concept? Cafe or is this no, it's a, we'll, we'll actually be able to have some seating, small, right. out, you know, just like Dunkin' Donuts. Did right. Pretty, but we're not, we're not really changing the floor plan. We're, for once, getting to go somewhere that already does what we do right. instead of having to, you know, be nice. make major changes. So plumbing. Well, may all the Smithies find your door. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> big hope. Yeah. They have to walk past it anyway because they want to go anywhere else. Move to approve the application for the common fixture or license for Shelburne Falls Coffee Roasters to open a location at 273 Main Street, Northampton. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. I'm yeah, so excited. Work. Okay, thank you. Uh, number 10, application for farm winery li liquor license. Goddard's Red Hen Farm, LSD, DBL, Mineral Hills Winery, September 1st through September 4th, 17th. Um, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Wine tasting and sale of unopened bottles. Three County Fairgrounds Farm Three. <coughs> farm Winery Liquor License to sell at farmers market and agricultural events. How are you? Hi, I'm Sue Goddard. I'm the owner and uh, general manager for the LLC. Uh, we've been doing the Three County Fair for the last five or six years, and really enjoy being out there and being with 200th anniversary of the fair. Too bad my girls don't still do sheep. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That sounds good. Yeah, I was going to say, you do the farmers markets on a regular basis, yes. is that right? Yes. Yeah. You, you come for us a number Yeah, we do, yeah, we do the right. Gothic Street. Right. Used to do Florence, but then Florence got too small. Okay. <laughs> Not enough time in the day for us. I'll make a motion to approve uh, the application for a farm winery liquor license for Goddard's Red Farm doing business as Mineral Hills Winery. I will second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank Aye. you very much. Number 11, application for a farm winery liquor license, Hardwood Vineyards and Winery LLC. September 1st through the 4th, 10 a.m., 10 p.m., wine tasting and sale of unopened bottles, three county fairgrounds, craft barn and three. So farm winery liquor license to sell at farmers markets and agricultural events, kind of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Everything is in order. How are you? What's your name? Who's John Santa, owner of Hardwick Vineyard and Winery, Hardwick, Mass. Okay. Thank you. Have you done this before? Uh, I did that originally when the law first became um, allowable to be at the farmers markets and agricultural events. So I did it the first year, and uh, now I'm back. Okay. Tips. Requesting a fee waiver. Mm -hmm. uh, um, no. I'll take one. That's, that's, that's four. Oh, Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, we were kind of puzzled by I'm that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. We pulled it together. Well, that's a good try, but no. <laughs> was, that, was that our mistake? No, no they're, they're sticking. The oh, papers are sticking together. <laughs> application for farm winery liquor license for Hardwick Vineyards and Winery LLC for September 1st through the 4th, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. at the Three County Fairgrounds. Craft of Iron number three. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Good luck. And now to the question hey. fee waiver. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, number 12, application for And since we are a full board, as I always do, I recuse myself since I am a trustee. Sure. Thank you very much. Uh, trustees of Ford Library, BBA Ford Library, Wednesday, August 2nd, 2017, 5 to 7 p.m. Uh, Holmes Art Gallery Reception, Ford Library, 20 West Street. Can you say your name, please? I'm Dylan Gaffney from Ford Library. All right. Has Welcome. anything changed? Nothing has changed. Just our typical Art Gallery Reception. Yep. It's sorry that you didn't get this in in time for the July meeting. Timing's a little. Uh, oh. Yes. Yeah. We need to get you out of here. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. So. All right. Apologize for that. That's okay. All the, everything's in order. Everything's in order. Don't, you're going to have to stick around and come to my office after. For the okay. All right. Okay. So I'll make a motion to go ahead and approve the application for short term liquor license for Wednesday, August 2nd, 5 to 7 p.m. <clears throat> That's our art gallery reception on uh, 20 West Street. Um, with the uh, fee waiver. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you. thank you. Thank you. All right. Next is uh, item number 13. It's a public hearing. So if the open, what exactly do I have to say? The open public hearing. Anything special? You just simply need to announce it. Yeah. It's a public, it's a public hearing. hearing on the application to transfer the liquor license. We hear from any pub public. Uh, one from the public who wants to comment. That's all right. Yeah. And at this time, is there anybody uh, well, wanting to comment on this from the public? No? Okay. Forward. So, um, VCAN Limited, DBA, Bishop's Lounge, 41 Strong Ave, all alcohol, uh, general on premises, current holder and address. Milo Enterprises, LLC, DBA, and Club Devos of Northampton. Care of Mass Department of Revenue, uh, 492 Pleasant Street, Northampton. Proposed new address, 41 Strong Avenue, Unit 3. Proposed new owner, uh, Vulcan Auto. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. So have you purchased this from through uh, the... We, I purchased through the auction that they had. That's, uh, what, I, that's what I yeah. just wanted to yeah, confirm. Right. Yeah. That's what we yeah. thought, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Hopefully it was a good move. Yeah. So we'll see. So probably the licenses be, seem to be yeah fine. seem to be doing all right. Um, the market, so it, can you bring us up to date, um, Mr. Colatol? Is there any change in your status? Okay, so when when uh, um, for years now, maybe over fifteen years, Molinos and Bishops been on the one liquor license even when it was on Center Street and when it came to 41 Strong Avenue it was always run on the one liquor license and it was just always my intention since I took over 10 years ago that uh, to separate them both um, just the simple purpose of uh, I want a restaurant to be run just uh, as a restaurant and it had no inflation with the bar itself so that uh, each corporation was protected individually but obviously I didn't have a liquor license, so, uh, and um, one liquor license for running both, and no problems, uh, till I found out that that auction was taking place. Um, I happened to win it, and um, so now I just want to separate both corporations, Bishops and Molinos. Nothing is changing, um, everything's same the way it is. I mean, you guys already know Molinos and Bishops. Um, the staff is the same, operation is the same, entertainment is the same. Um, just the technicality of license change. That's Will you be the manager of record of yeah. both yeah. establishments? I, yeah, I mean, that's one. Uh, uh, me and Annie, we had to clear from ABCC. And, but um, I've been managing both right. now anyway. So, again, nothing is changing, you know? So, right. um, I just one. wanted to make sure for absolutely. myself, yeah, my absolutely. own knowledge. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Well, this, these are certainly businesses we've dealt with on a regular basis. I, I don't have any questions. I don't have any questions either. I don't either. Uh, all the paperwork's in order. Yeah, I got everything. I got so for, yeah. Just two though. Eric for the That's okay. I found out since I have record of them sending and that's going to be enough. Okay, because perfect. they don't have to actually okay. sign for that. And I have to give you the checks? Yes. Okay, before I leave. Yep, yep. Uh, 
Yes, but, but I haven't finished. I just want to make one note for the record. Uh, read it to, out loud. The bishops will no longer need a common vic as they don't have a kitchen for preparing food. All food comes out of Molinos. How are you going to handle that? So the people at bishops can order things from Molinos, but it's going to be on a Molinos check? And yeah, so um, the, the system that we have right now allows us to communicate to Molinos. Yes. So um, pretty much it's going to be put it another word, subcontracted out, you know, so it's, mm -hmm. it's kind of like whatever people order at bishops, which isn't a lot, by the way, it's only certain nights when uh, they have tables on it and stuff. Um, the, they will go inside Molino's screen, they will order it, and that will go inside Molino's revenue center, and Bishop just confiscates it off the Where Where do people consume this food? Bishops. And I checked the law. Mm -hmm. Technically, they'll be treating it as takeout since they don't have a kitchen. Mm -hmm. Basically, someone who the bishops is calling for takeout. Yeah, that, that's, so that's basically how that's what I was talking about, self-contracting. Yeah, you know, my, my only concern was uh, public health issues and whether, you know, someone gets sick at Bishops from something they've eaten at Bishops, but it was prepared by Molinos. Um, that was one one thing behind Common Vix was uh, um, to have uh, community control over what was being served in restaurants. But if you're saying that the ruling from ABCC is that uh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't want to check my external law. Okay, that is taken. Because the it. ABCC doesn't, have, I mean, common fix aren't liquor licenses. So true, absolutely so, true. Yeah. So <laughs> your your research has shown that, in fact, it, it will be treated as takeout. Take out. And you might want to check with your insurance company. Absolutely. I'm just saying. Yeah. Say, I, I didn't even thought of that, to be honest with you. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. lawyers in worst case scenarios yeah. Yeah, would go together. And but, but I would think of that. So yeah. I, I just well, ask I, you I'll to check protect yourself. Yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. Protect I'll, yourself. I'll check with, um, I don't have any other thoughts or concerns. Okay. Well, before we make a vote, I'm going to go ahead and close the public hearing. So now, uh, seeing no other further questions, do we have any discussion? Any further discussion? Anything? Well, we haven't. We got. We still got to go to fourteen, fifteen. Oh, you closed this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Correct. Oh, or should we close one at a time? I, I, they have to be open because there's two. There's two. There's here. two different public hearings. Uh -huh. They have to be open. I, I actually have one question. If, sure. It's okay. If, not that that is the case. The whole point of this is to separate Molinos and Bishops. Okay. If that day ever came where I wanted to open a second restaurant and I wanted to move that particular license to that restaurant in Northampton. Um, can I go back to my uh, status quo right now? Of sharing a license? Yes. Uh, technically, it is on the one roof. It is on the one door. We've been doing it for how many years? Oh, yeah, 15. Yeah, well, I, I would just going to say, you probably yeah. would be great. Not, not that, that um, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. I'm not worried about that, but, uh, you know, it's one just of those. Just all your options open. Exactly. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I think probably we were, we're just speculating. You probably should talk to your own legal counsel about that. I mean, yeah, they, I, they, I'm they, just saying. They, I they think said that I could. It was just going to be paying mm -hmm. the bill, so that's all. I mean, the only thing that was going to change that, in my opinion, and I'm not a lawyer, but if a new master of law or something came down from the ABCC that would, that would change. Yeah, that's system. not a weapon. Sure. Yeah. Then, yeah. You know, other yeah. than yeah. that. Fair enough. Yeah. So, I'm not sure. So we've closed the public hearing on number 13. So we need a motion. I'll make a motion that uh, we grant the application for transfer of a liquor license with respect to Vican Limited doing business as Bishop's Lounge. Current holder and address is Milo Enterprises doing business as Club Divas via auction through the Massachusetts Department of Revenue. Uh, it has been transferred to Bishop's Lounge proposed new manager is Mr. Politol. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. So application number 14, application for transfer of entertainment license from Vicam Limited to DBA, <coughs> DBA Bishop's Lounge, 41 Strong Avenue, current holder. DBA Limited, <laughs> DBA Molinos. Victoria Bishop's Lounge, proposed new holder, I can limited Bishop's Lounge. So is this just a form? So this is for paperwork purposes. Okay. 
So the entertainment license is currently under both, but once it's successfully transferred, Molinos won't need an entertainment license anymore, just Bishops. And you are very clear that Molinos will not be allowed to have any entertainment. Correct. We, we don't have space in them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Bishops is the one that has them. I don't have any further questions. Shall we close the public hearing on this? Yeah, there isn't one. That, that one doesn't have. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <coughs> I'll make a motion to approve the transfer of the entertainment license. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, now we're going to open the public hearing on number 15. Um, public hearing on the application for alteration of premises and change DBA and change <coughs> uh, to existing common VIC. So. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce that, BF or Why, yeah. Yeah. DBA Molinos, Victoria Bishop's Lounge, 41 Strong, license number 00048-GP-0900, annual all alcohol general on premises, new premises to include second floor, fourth floor, and storage area and basement, new DBA Molinos, 16C approval uh, request. <coughs> Is there any comment publicly at this time? Okay, seeing none. Any questions? I have no questions. We kind of covered. None for me. We covered all. Mm -hmm. anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. So basically, I'm concerned. There are. Yes. Okay. So. Um, So at this time, I'll close the uh, public hearing. Sorry about that. Um, so being no other questions or discussion, we'll board, just a, a motion to move forward. I would make, uh, make a motion to approve the application for alteration of premises and change of DBA and change of DBA to existing common picture. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Best of luck. Oh, thank you. Take care. Any new business at this time? Yes. Um, we have Forbes here. Oh, not Forbes. The Academy. Oh, the Academy's oh, here yeah. now. Oh, okay. Let's go back. How are you? Good. Thank you. Apologies for being late. That's okay. We're here. We're here. Yeah. Okay, number five, application for short-term liquor license, Academy of Music, DBA Academy of Music Theater, Friday, August 4th, so, um, 7 to 10 p.m., uh, Academy of Music at 274 Main Street, Wine and Malt, request fee waiver. Can you state your name, please? Addie McDonald. Can you just uh, tell us a little bit about your event? Sure, it's um, Frank Zappa's son, Weasel Zappa, who I guess is big in some circles, and um, he's coming to play. Um, doors will be at sev uh, 7, so that's when we'll start serving. Uh, I anticipate wrapping up serving around 8.30 or 9. The uh, um, concert will go to about 10. Um, beer and wine for sale uh, to serve safe servers, as usual, and that will be the manager on duty. Perfect. I'm going to make a comment that I would have made um, to Forbes library when they were here, but I had recused myself since I'm a trustee, um, but I will make it to this, to this applicant also. We're trying to encourage people to get here a month early. Um, for, for example, today with the weather, there was a strong possibility we might have been short a quorum, mm -hmm. and you might have found yourself without a liquor license with a fourth. So we're trying to get everyone to think in terms of Plan out two months in advance rather it's than showing up two days before your, two or three days before your event. Sure. Because there are times where unexpected things happen, mm -hmm. like today, where we almost didn't have a quorum. Mm -hmm. So um, and that's not to pick on you if, the, if, the, if uh, I'll get over it. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'm sure you have a thick skin about that. But well, um, yeah, if I, I, um, I could start for the next one, do it for the remainder of the year if that's permitted. Um, it's what the chamber does. 
Yeah. Yes. Or if you just so, prefer a couple months at a time. And, I, I was going to say a, every quarter or something like okay. that. Yeah. We'd be happy to, save you the trip. to yeah. go through it and you wouldn't have to come back every time. We're just trying to get the word out yeah. because we've, we've had some people who've come in literally the day of, <laughs> yeah. today, the day of the event. And, you know, <laughs> what happens if you, you know, can't, uh, can't approve it because we don't have a quorum? Then right. somebody's in, in, uh, in a tough situation. Yeah. We don't want that to happen. No, so best of luck, and I have to ask because I'm just curious as all heck. Dweezel, do we know? Does anybody know where that came from? Is it like a flowering plant or something? Well, his yeah. other son is named it Moon Unit, so he was he, he, inventive. Yeah, he was often some. There is a plant, plant called a Dweezel, so I was thought yeah. maybe Dweezel was a <laughs> derivative. Sold. Sorry. 700 people are coming. I don't, I don't know his music at all, but yeah. it's very popular, I guess. So. Perfect. Great. Yeah. All right. Best of luck, Dave. Did no. anybody approve it? No. no other questions. Do you have other questions? No. I'll make a motion to approve the application for short-term liquor license for the Academy of Music for Friday, August 4th for Weasel Zappa, 7 to 10 p.m., and we will approve the fee waiver. Thank you very much. Thank you. Second all that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Who seconded that? I did. They broke it. We broke it. <laughs> second and third. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Uh, All right, so we're on okay, to you. Um, I just received a notice of hearing for uh, Union Station. Uh, the ABCC went and did a compliance check and they failed. So they are appearing in Boston in November. Yeah, I heard about that. Which so. was it Union Station? Or the deck? Uh, well, they're all under one LLC, yeah. so I don't think they didn't even really tell me. Okay. From um, what I understand, it was the inside of the sports bar, and it was a, I mean, I can only go on here so I don't know if I should even say this. Well, I would so. like to ask Annie and, and find out, do we know what the compliance issue was as to uh, Sale or delivery of an alcoholic beverage to an intoxicated person, one count. Yeah. Okay. When the ABCC comes, do they do multiple? Uh, Checks. They, they can. Do. Yeah. They can. They come unannounced. Yep. They just show up. And if there's been complaints, sometimes they'll target. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I know they've gotten. They. I guess. I was told they're they're getting more vigilant about coming out here. I'm not sure why, but it's uh, summertime. It's one of the investigators told me that's what he told me. So. And what was the date? Um, April. April twenty first, a Friday, approximately ten fifty four p.m. And when were we notified that this had actually happened? Um, the end of June, we got our first letter, and then it was continued, and then I got this letter in July. Okay. If you could just make sure that we at least know when, when that, when you or, or um, was Cindy in, in place when the first letter came in? No, that was me. Okay. Yeah. Just let us know so we know what's going on in town, that's all. Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. And your parking passes under the business. We have to turn our open set first or not? Uh, yeah, actually, I should probably get those. Yeah, I have one. I can get my Tasha doesn't have to go to the shop. <laughs> so mine, well, mine is in Maine. Maine. <laughs> I'm afraid I'll have to bring it back to you the next so time. So I'll, I'll do, we'll do that next next month. Okay. Yes. All right. Good. All right. Um, approval of minutes from June 7, 2017, July 6, 2017. I was good on both sets. Yeah, I as well. Yeah. I wasn't here. Okay. One of those. I'm just trying to figure out which one of those. Thank you. We're you were here last. Yeah. Okay. So let's vote on June first. Sure. Or June seventh. I have looked at them. I don't have any changes. Would you like to? Okay. So make a motion to approve the minutes from June seventh. 